Taylor's gonna come here. This is where she's gonna fight the hands here and look to set it up. Nina needs to tuck those elbows. Dern trying to make these ground strikes count and probably wise to set an aggressive pace early given the layoff for Nunes coming in. I will say, Nina's jiu-jitsu coach, one of the best in the there business. There it is. Bahumpa. She Just can't let McKenzie sit off to the side and collect her arm. We've seen Too so much many time. of these from, from Dern. She, she loves to transition here, and she's super good in, in the arm bars. Because even if she doesn't fall into the arm bar right away, she's so good at attacking your hands and you're locked and eventually getting your hands to break. Nina's got to be very careful not to start falling off to the side with McKenzie. See, here it gets very difficult to defend a great black belt like McKenzie Dern. She's going to keep yanking side yeah. to side at an angle on that elbow. Nina's doing a good job right now keeping her arms crossed, right? It's almost like when you take those photos to look tough where you cross your arms. you got to maintain that. But look at McKenzie pushing the arm with her foot. Nina has to stay right here. She's got to keep those hands locked. McKenzie's trying to isolate that bottom hand now. Nina's doing a great job of just relaxing there, Cruz. Yes, any panic it. action, any panic action would get her caught. Oh, there it is. There's the tap quickly. Oh, Another that. submission right. finish. Boy. Mackenzie oh. Dern paging the rest of this strawweight division. Mackenzie Dern is coming and quickly. She's wow. too good there. Makes it look easy. She, she does. Just she makes good it look there. easy. You cannot let her fall off to the side with an arm bar. She's just too good. She's too skilled. She's too well versed at taking her time and eventually getting you to the finishing position. That's exactly what she did. 11 of Torres's 12 UFC fights have gone the distance, certainly in hot pursuit of a finish tonight. And you see the significant strike discrepancy four minutes in. She looks so sharp tonight. I mean, the Angela Hill fight was a really highly anticipated fight. Mm -hmm. Having that fight fall out and having this opponent step in on last minute's notice, you can see how hard she's been training and preparing. She always looks physically in shape and ready to go, but now look at her movement on the feet. She's bouncing. Hughes has got to find a way to change this. She needs to get back to that clinch like she was earlier. At least there, against the side of the octagon, she was able to control Torres for a little bit and not allow her to just tee off on her. Yeah, Torres always looks good, and as you said, I mean, she's fought a who's who in this division, but oh, the new intensity. Yes, that's her intensity a good way to put is it. just it's 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 significant. You can see it. And there were times in her UFC career where she was also pursuing her bachelor's degree. Now she's all in. Yeah, and Hughes is starting to question now, Joe. Oh, oh. That's good. and a big slam late in the round for good measure. Hughes working on a late choke. Round two coming up. Wow. Look at the left eye. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna stop it. I don't think so. You wanna fight? Yeah. Okay. Listen, you're gonna have to get in and put it against the wall, okay? Can you catch an eye poke? Yeah. Okay, because you're like. Look at this. Guys, very interesting circumstance between rounds as you see yep, the yep. doctor in there, and they will indeed call the fight. So Sam Hughes acknowledged to her corner, me. Eddie Grant and Rick Little, that she could not see out of that left eye. And so that is the end of the fight.